Alright, hello everybody, it is Redmer Gamer here coming at you with another Battlefield 4 weapon review. Today we're going to be reviewing the very first unlock that you get for the support class, which is the U100 Mark V. We're going to be taking this in the test range for the f first few clips, and then we'll be taking it online, first conquest, and then team deathmatch. So, let's get into it. First of all, the weapon was made in Singapore, did you know that? I think that's pretty cool. And it was made in 1977, I, I thought this was an American weapon, but... It was, it's actually a Singapore made weapon, which is pretty cool. And it's older, it looks more modern, but it is actually pretty old. It's made in 1977. And the iron sights, let's start with the iron sights. I love the iron sights. I'm pretty sure that these are my favorite iron sights in Battlefield 4, because let's be honest, the iron sights in Battlefield 4, they're not too good. I remember doing the SV-98 iron sight, you know, hunting rifle fallout challenge. And uh, the iron sights, we're not very good but this weapon right here it has pretty decent iron sights and it's actually a pretty good way to run it if you're if you want some sort of a challenge or you just want to have that good feel of using um, a good iron sight weapon so um, the weapon the weapon damage it does uh, let's see here the minimum damage is 18 which is um, in this clip here at, at long distance it does like it takes like six to five bullets to drop an enemy which is pretty insane um, but if you put this, a good scope on there or something like that and you properly control the recoil which it's very low um, but if you properly control the recoil and you make sure all your bullets are hitting the target then you can actually do some pretty good damage but I would consider this a medium range weapon it's not very good at close range or long range I mean it can perform but it depends on how you play the game and personally I do the best with this weapon at medium range and as you can see in the clips it does like f five bullets at medium range which is pretty decent it has uh, rounds per minute let's see here where am I getting the information I'm getting this is from uh, simfic.com which is where I do all my weapon reviews from so big thanks to that website for all this information so the fire rate is at 590 rounds per minute, which is pretty goddamn low. In fact, I think that's pr probably close to the SCAR H, and in this clip I'll compare it to the CZ805 because they're two very similar weapons. It has a 30 magazine, which is kind of strange for a light machine gun, um, and has a very weirdly awkward slow reload. I don't know why it's so slow for a 30 round clip. It's, it's very interesting to me. Um, taking this thing online, I just wanted to start off with this amazing clip here. I C4 this tank and I almost get knifed, but I counter it, which is pretty damn cool. Um, if I were you, the way that I would run this weapon is I would put a muzzle brake on there. Probably a stubby grip, because in one of the clips there is um, a good example of the bullet bloom on this weapon, which is pretty bad, actually. Um, I tried to kill him, but I was aiming right on target, and all my bullets went around the target for some reason. I don't know why, but if I were you, I would run this weapon with a 3.4 times zoom on it. It performs pretty well at that, and it has decent hip fire. Uh, you can you can hip fire people, but sometimes it just doesn't work because it's based on luck. But this is probably the best way to run this weapon. I believe it is. Um, you can run it with like a red dot sight and. Um, but a uh, vertical grip or an ergo grip and run around with team deathmatch you'll do pretty decent at medium range still and running around like that but still I think that this is probably the best way to run it that was a terrible clip there uh, I just sprayed and prayed um, but this weapon it's pretty decent at medium range it's a good conquest weapon and it's a good starting starting off weapon so people can get adjusted to the light machine guns in the support class um, it can perform at certain ranges. At long range, it's not going to do much. Um, it'll take six to probably six shots, and if you get headshots, it'll be three or four, which is pretty ridiculous. Four bullets to the head—that doesn't make any sense. But um, this is the bullet bloom clip. Just I—he outgunned me with a PDW. It doesn't make any sense. So be careful with this weapon. And this is the CZ805, which is a very similar weapon. It has more recoil. Um, the first shot recoil is more, um, but the the actual like maintaining recoil when it's fully automatic, it's a little better. Um, but the the what is it called the U100 Mark V, which is the Ultimax 100, that's the full name of it. Uh, it's a it's a pretty decent weapon 
for medium range. As you can see here, that's the perfect range for this weapon right there. Um, that kill was at medium range, I would consider it. And I was on um, Team Deathmatch using the exact same setup that I used on Conquest. And I did actually pretty decent. So that was the U100 Mark V review. Hope you all did enjoy. Um, I hope you guys got some information out of this and actually know how to use this weapon now. Um, it's decent. Let, let's just put it at that. It's decent. It's kind of strange that it has a 30 mag and a really slow reload and a slow round per minute. But that can be changed if you... Well, not change, but it can be adjusted to if you play this, if you play with this and adapt to it. So, I want to thank you all so much for watching this video. And if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button and subscribe for the daily basis of my videos. Without further ado, we'll see you all in the next video. I'll let this clip roll. So, adios.